So in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a problem that a lot of people get when compositing images. I've seen it on so many different occasions where images are put together from different environments um, and the, the highlights and the shadows just don't match up. And this, this is a really nice simple way of fixing that problem. It's not the most refined way, there are, there are other ways to do this, but this is a, a very simple easy way and it's especially useful for background objects within a scene. So. I've got a shot here of a night. This is just a, a toy night that was shot in a studio and we've currently got him on the background. So let's remove that background. So actually I did select and refine this earlier just to cut it out quickly because um, that's not really what this tutorial is about. So we've got a night and as you can see, we've got a bit of light leak going on here and a bit of colorization from the old background actually um, and reflections in the armor that we don't really want. So we've got a strong light source up here, which is just a pixel layer that I added to kind of illustrate a point. So the light source is up here. And what we need to do now is we need to change the, the feeling of the light source on the night. Um, obviously we can't change the light source because it's already baked onto the image, but what we can do is a, is a couple of nice tricks that actually will uh, trick the viewer into thinking that this night was shot on the cloudy background. So a simple way of doing this is we add a pixel layer here. So we've got a new pixel layer and drop it inside the layer of the night. Now you want to have your brush active. So that's B or just select your brush from up here. Um, and as you can see, currently I've got a, um, a white fill to my brush. So I want to change this. And what I want to do is I want to choose my shadow color from the background. So I'm going to hold alt and click and then select one of these dark tones down here. Not 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 the black, no 100% black, but I want a kind of really dark blue so that if if any light was any of the light was being reflected on the armor it still kind of feels true to the scene. So then what I'm going to do is as you can see, you can see my brush now and because we've got that pixel layer inside of that pixel layer, you're only see it's now clipping around the edge. So what we can do now is we can paint out those highlights. We don't want them to add in that shadow to start to make the night feel like he's actually part of this scene. So quickly just increase my brush size here and paint in between the legs there. And then down here just to remove that because I don't really want that highlight there. And then the same on this side. So we can just paint away. You know, you don't have to be too accurate with this. It's it's quite a crude way of doing it, but it, it, it's quite effective. I, I use this quite a lot on small objects that are going to be in a scene. And basically, I want to quickly adjust the light to drop them into a scene. And they might just be kind of background objects. Um, and it really works because it's so quick and easy. So we then can change the blend mode of this pixel layer to multiply. So as you can see, it went darker and then we can adjust how much shadow we want going on there to make it feel like it's part of the scene. You could use multiple layers and then adjust the opacity there to kind of tweak those shadows. So if we want a, bit, a little bit lighter over here, then we could do. Um, but this is fine for this scene. So that's our shadows sorted. If I turn that on and off, you'll see the difference. It's quite drastic. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to add a pixel layer, but this time this is going to be my highlight. So what I'm going to do is I'll whack that up to white there. So I've still got, I'm still on my brush and then I'm going to paint some highlights in. So we can reduce that down and just kind of imagine where these highlights might be into intensify where they might be stronger. Um, so there we have it, some highlights there, maybe put a bit down here and on the edge there. Again, you don't have to be super accurate with this because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change, so let's just put a bit more down here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this blend mode to overlay and you'll see it really starts to burn out here. But again, we can just alter this opacity so it's fully controllable. It's non-destructive way of working. Um, and let me turn those on and off. You'll see the before and after kind of really fix that up and the night is now starting to look like part of that scene. Actually, I've kind of gone over the shield here, but don't worry again, like I say, it's non-destructive. So I can just use my eraser, um, just use the eraser brush here and just erase away there that I don't want it to, uh, where I don't want that shadow. Okay, we well made it to the end of the video, which is a good thing. So uh, if you've got any comments or questions, just uh, pop them below. 
and uh, I'll try and answer them. Cheers.